What's going on, YouTube? What's up, family? You know who it is. This is your boy, Roger Jr. Oh, boy. Man. I'm going to drop you guys another video. You know, I'm pretty much learning from my mistakes. Um, so let's get right into it. So when I first started this account, uh, the first account, the Jet Set, uh, I was out for a week home time after I did my training. So I came back, you know, I back on the road and my first assignment was to go to uh, Salem, Oregon, not too far from uh, Portland. Uh, they flew me to Salt Lake City. So when I went to Salt Lake City, they, I had to do a training because I had that, that Kenworth T680. Pretty much that's what I wanted. They didn't know that, but you know, you, you know how you know how God works. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I had to do that type. Of, I had to do that training. Cause I never, or, you know, drove that, operate that type of vehicle before. So after I did my training, uh, like I said, I had to go to uh, you know Oregon. I had a Home Depot load, and um, the load. I don't forget how much the load weighed. I believe it was like 42, 44. I don't remember, but. You know, I did my pre-trip and I just hit it on the road. So I'm riding and then, you know, the first way station, they pulled me over and boom. All right. So I'm going through the scale and then the young lady, like, uh, she came out. She said, can you back up? And so I back up and uh, I guess I was overweight. So she said, put to the side. And, you know, she asked for my uh, driver license and my registration, my bill of labor and all that other crap. So she came back and I got my ticket. <laughs> I got a ticket, y'all. My first assignment. It hasn't been even like probably like an hour on the road, you know? Boom, I got a ticket. I'm like, dang. So I was I was overweight. Um, I was overweight. I didn't I didn't check that cat scale before I left out of there, you know. Uh I should have checked it, but I just, you know, you you're home. All that training that you that you have learned, you know, it's out the window because you know you, you're not really thinking about that. So that was my mistake, you know. I should have I should have went to the cat scale and scale my uh, my trailer. My ticket was like fifty bucks. So I'm like, okay, I'm thank God it wasn't like four or five hundred dollars. You know what I'm saying? But it was like fifty bucks. But still, fifty bucks that I don't I work hard for. You know what I'm saying? But it is what it is. I think she she already knew that I was new. Because she was asking me for certain documents, I, I'm like, I don't know what she's talking about. She said, "It's not as pretty good. I have you know everything organized. Does she have a folder? A folder? I'm like, oh, I do have a folder. So I picked up my folder and I gave it to her. And then uh, just based off the conversation, she could tell I was new. So she didn't kill me. You know, it was only 50 bucks. So you know, I'm grateful for that. At the end, at the end of the day, it could have been a lot worse." So, so that was just one, you know, so always, you know, weigh your trailer, you know what I'm saying? You don't want to, you don't want to get pulled over by the sky house and get a ticket. Uh, thankfully, uh, tickets like those don't go on my DAC report because it wasn't like a, it, she said something, it wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't put on my DAC report. So thank God for that. But still, anyway, so, uh, number two, so Whenever you decide to go to another account, you know, even though they say they're going to talk to your DBL or your leader or whoever, make sure you keep communication with your DBL. The reason why, they will continue to run you and you won't be able to go back home. You know what I'm saying? So I did call my DBL and I told her like, yeah, I'm thinking about getting transferred to Dollar General account. What's your opinion on that? You know, I know I'm on this morning good. You know, there's not no touch freight and over here is touch freight. She said, she gave me her pointers, her her true, her, her, her honest opinion, right? I said, you know, I appreciate that. I definitely appreciate that. So anyway, fast forward, uh, I, was to, uh, I was supposed to go home probably like on a Friday, but they still running me. And I don't decline no loads at all, none whatsoever. So I just kept running. So I ran from, you know, Arizona to Colorado, uh, Colorado to... New Mexico, New Mexico, Wyoming. And then the transfer team uh, manager, uh, well, specialist called me and she said, yeah, Rice." Right. She said, so what's going on? Like, uh, are you still interested with that car? I said, yeah. She said, okay. 
And I said, uh, but I'm over here, I'm all the way over here in Wyoming. She said, she said, um, I said, do you tell, talk to my DBL? She said, yeah, I said, no, I called them and I sent an email. And I said, well, I got me another assignment I gotta do. I'm on it right now. Uh, she said, you know what, I'll call you back. Uh, she ain't coming back that day, but she called me the, the next day. And she was pretty much telling me that they had the assumption of I was going to stay on their account. So, and I'm like, no, nah, I called her to get her, like, ask her for her opinion, you know what I'm saying? But I never said I was going to stay on her account. So that's why you always want to have an open communicate, communicate communication with your uh, anybody that's over you. You know what I'm saying? Because you never know what might be said or uh, misunderstood. So that was my mistake. You know, I just let them handle everything, and I should have I should have kept talking with my DBL, let her know like, yo, this is my last low. I want I'm gonna get transferred, but before I get transferred, I want to go back home. So. That's my mistake. I can't blame nobody but me. You know what I'm saying? Even though they said they're gonna have communication with your leader, just follow up. You know what I'm saying? Cause you never might know. You never might know. So, uh, eventually, the uh, eventually they wrapped me to back to uh, when I pick up this by uh, my Kenworth. They wrapped me back to Salt Lake City, Utah. So I'm driving back over there and. And this is the Friday, so keep in mind, Friday, everybody trying to go home. So I noticed, uh, I pulled over and I noticed that I got a, uh, I checked my email and I know I got a ticket to go straight to Wisconsin. I'm like, damn, bro, so it look like I'm not going to go home. I'm like, hey, I'm not trying to, I'm not going to go home. So I'm like, you know what, let me call the travel team. So I called the travel team, try to set some arrangements to go to Florida. And they could have they could have booked the ticket for me to go to Florida, but it would have been like like twelve hundred dollars. Which they could have booked it, and Eric, the company could have, you know they're gonna charge the company. But um, the ticket from uh, Utah all the way to Wisconsin was four hundred dollars. I'm like, damn, I don't want to charge the company twelve hundred dollars just for me to go home for a day, and I gotta fly right back to Wisconsin. And even though they might have to pay it, or they might would have been like, yo, they didn't authorize that, I gotta pay the difference. I don't know what it would what they would have said. So I was like, you know what? Let me, let me, let me cancel that and I'm just gonna go straight to Wisconsin. So that's what I end up doing. So just, you know, like I said, man, just you know, open communication with your your with your DBL. Number three, my mistake. Learn from my mistake. When you're transferring to a new account, of course, you got to turn in your truck. So I'm in Salt Lake City and I'm cleaning out my truck and I forgot my GoPro Hero Black 8 in my truck. And I'm calling, I'm like, yo, I'm calling the, the shop. Um, nobody pick up. Keep in mind, it's a Saturday, you know, Saturday going to Sunday. So ain't nobody really there. So I kept calling and eventually they picked up. Um, I'm like, yo, I uh, I forgot this item, my truck, this camera. I didn't tell her what it was. I just said, camera, can you check, uh, see if it's in there? And we could try to figure something out. And then he's like, yeah, I could do that for you. I'm going uh, I'm, to uh, see if it's in there. Uh, he's asking what account I'm on. I said, I'm about to transfer it to uh, the Dollar General account. He said, yeah, I'm going to hit up your DBL. Uh, we're doing this all on the phone and then he emailed him and uh, our instant messenger and um, boom everything worked out right with that so he said I'm gonna call you back he called me back he said yeah man I didn't see it I'm like damn $400 down the drain bro so make sure when you transfer your stuff at your truck Right, double, triple check your truck. Make sure you got everything out because there was there was some videos I want I wanted to show you guys. I made for you guys before I left. I made a tour of my truck. I made a uh, it was a lot lizard <laughs> that was banging on my door at three o'clock in the morning. I made a video on, about that, uh, watching her work pretty much. And uh, three was a the fifth wheel, the fifth wheel. The fifth wheel is different from the uh, 
uh, freight lighter Cascadia. It's a lot different, and I show I show in that in my in my in my GoPro that how you could you know easier way to uh, detach from it pretty much. But it's all down the drain. So yeah, man, those are my three learn from my mistakes. I wanted to give you guys another video. I know it's been a week. I try to do these weekly, but you know, you know how it is. You with your teammate, you're running, you're always running. And I'm like, you know, now we're sitting down because, you know, we are uh, about to pick up another load. Hey, he's, uh, we had the OC, he's taking a shower. I already took one at the pilot. So I got this time to, you know, communicate with my folks. Make you guys know what it is. So again, it's your boy Roger Jr. This is my, I'm on my new account. I'm going to talk about that on another video. Y'all be easy and be blessed. All right, peace. truck in the cut. I thought somebody took my truck, but it's over there. Yeah. Over here, take this thing right here. Let's see. Uh oh. There she go. There she go. Got that. Got that KW. Hey, I didn't do that. It came like that with the truck.